Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Sleepless Illustrator with another episode coming at you. Um, actually, uh, I was uh, wanting to do this for a long time, guys. Um, well, actually, my friend reminded me of this. Uh, yeah, the other night uh, we were gaming the other night, and they mentioned the game. We're gonna be drawing as in the title, as, as you can see. We're gonna be drawing Solid Snake. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this. I actually got some really cool ideas to kind of, you know do this uh, character guys because uh i'm a big i'm not uh, you know actually i'm not a big metal gear Solid fan i haven't like quite kept up with a few games i played snake eater and uh, the twin snakes that was my twin snakes was my favorite for the gamecube and then of course uh, snake eater which they're coming out with the remake but unfortunately there's no um set date right now guys so excuse me um but I thought I'd, uh, my friend reminded me that the game's coming. I forgot about it for a while when they released the trailer. And I got all excited. So, um, it's not much to get into, guys. I'm just gonna start. Uh, I'm just gonna start. You know, um, let's start drawing. Yeah. I apologize, guys, if I'm not really. Uh, it's been this week's been kind of a weird week for me. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Grab your snacks. Grab your if you got any more lattes or something like that. I don't have any more coffee for tonight, guys. I'm actually just kind of. Uh, Going off my, uh, just going off my spirit right now. <laughs> if you can believe it. Um, just trying to hang in there. I'm actually going on a trip to uh, Disneyland this Thursday, guys. I'm a little excited about it, but it's been one of those weeks where, like, you have something planned, but, you know, you're just waiting for it to happen. But anyway, it's all right. The show must go on, so. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to start getting into it. I hope you don't mind. I'm just starting to start drawing, but, you know, there's really not much to, uh, you know, not much to go on this week. Halloween's already over, you know. But don't worry, guys. I also have, might have some spooky drawings, you know, just, just you know, in general. So let's just, uh, I'm just going to start with the normal head, guys. I'm going to draw a little bit of his neck and then, you know, just get some shoulders. So nothing really fancy. Hope you guys are having a good week. I'm having a good week. Don't worry, guys. I don't know if I seem a little downer. Just, uh, it's, you know, it's the weather changes, guys. It's killing me. I was with my, uh, my sister the other day. She came down for a visit, and, um, right when she's about to leave, she tells me that the NyQuil, or DayQuil she was taking, wore off. I'm like, son of a bitch. Oh, pardon my language. Son of a beasting. That she was uh, a little under the weather, so I've been praying to God that I don't get anything. Especially for our trip to Disneyland, uh, this week. I hope she's okay, but, you know, my sister, she's never gonna... Never gonna turn down Disneyland, I promise you that. So, anyway, guys, I mean, I'm having a good week. Let's see, so we're just gonna be drawing. I'm just got my little reference here, a little solid snake. He's got a little cool, cool little nose going. And, guys, when you're drawing this, don't be afraid to like, get the proportions right. Um, remember, guys, this is how you do the. I've, I've always said, remember, one eye in the middle, right? Eyes in the middle of the head. So, one eye here, Oops. and then nose directly over the mouth. So, Hold on, guys. Let me get a sip of water. Ah, excuse me. Sorry about that. Any hooser. And we'll get this little upper lip go action going. I should might make the mouth a little bit more. Look at the chin. This is gonna be a little bit more detailed mouth. So. Although guys don't really have, and this is actually a good opportunity, guys. I know you think I'm drawing like the good guy's mouth, but it's really just the upper chin. Up here, and then yeah, you can see kind of the mouth forming a little. And don't be afraid to adjust it a little, guys, because remember the these guidelines also, guys. You have to remember they're not always because um, the human, the human. This is just for drawing the human head in general, so you don't have to worry about you know because eventually, I mean, you guys will discover like when you draw people, they all we all come in different shapes and sizes. And I've told this before, you know. So you don't have to worry too much about getting everything you know super accurate when it comes to. It's just because we all we all have our we're all born with the same stuff eyes ears you know usually if you're born normal you know but most likely we're all uh you know proportionally supposed to be a certain way so exactly so yeah it's sick and eyes in. So 
smells not too bad. But I'm silent, guys. I'm just trying to concentrate on this. I really wanted to do a good drawing on. I had a really cool idea for this. Uh, so, like I said, remember at the end of the day, you're just drawing things your way, guys. This is my way. I'm just trying to lead by example, trying to get you guys motivated to do your drawings. That's what this channel's for. Race a little bit because it's just bothering me. And we're just drawing a simple man head, really. I mean, you know, uh, Solid Snake, you know, he's uh, kind of like a super soldier kind of looking guy, if I remember. Let's see. Uh, I'm not really liking this. This isn't really proportional. though. It's just because I'm drawing the face straight up, guys. I really wish, just to save time, I could have put, like, just put a photo, the photo underneath and just kind of, like, you know, sketch it up, but just to save time, you know, just to get everything right. But that's okay, I'm not going to cheat, guys. You guys want to see the real thing? Hell no, I'm not going to cheat. And that's why I'm not going to tell you guys how to do that. I'm never going to teach you guys, unless it's like you're using a photo reference, but I'm not going to show you guys how to like, you know, what I just said. You figure that out on your own, that's, a, that's your, your problem, but you want to do things the old-fashioned way. We'll get the hair in. I really want to like draw his hair. Because then he's got his band. Oh yeah, Cat has solid uh, solid snake without his band. I believe he has a brother, Liquid Snake, but I I, I believe he's like the main boss or something like that. It's been a while since I played these guys, and let me tell you something. These these cutscenes, who oh, you everyone you know and you play this game, you know. Ooh, about the cutscenes. They are brutal. And just, oh, oops. Let's get the drawing in. Remember, guys, don't worry about making it too, too perfect. Just trying to sketch in the drawing, then you flush it out later, so it's like sculpting, so. Okay. Nope. Right. Although I'm cheating kind of here right now, but just to adjust it a little. Oh, wait. This mount's a little too off. That's better. And yeah, we get the beard. And he's got to kind of have a mean look. And he's my favorite character to play in Super Smash. My friend Mike is always... He's always uh, Sonic. I'm Snake. So it's always speed versus weapons and flesh and blood kind of thing. Kind of like what Robotnik, you know? <laughs> we already have like a little our own little fights going. And don't think that... Let me tell you something, guys. There are some games I'm not very good at. Even like I've been playing Call of the new Call of Duty and I, I got my ass handed to me last night. You know, but Super Smash, oh yeah, that game, let me tell you, that's my game, that's one of my games I've been playing as a kid. Mario games I've always been really good at, you know, but, uh, but yeah, that's one, one game that you guys do not want to try for me out. I mean, I'll take you all on hand, I'm just kidding. That's all right, guys. We're all just here to have fun. Yeah, I like the way this chin. He's got to have a big chin, guys. Remember, he's a man. 
He's a man's man. <clears throat> and we're just trying to get the drop down. And we can put it in his little his little mic, his neck mic. That's what it is. It's his uh, comms that he has. Some old, uh, not very comfortable. I, I've actually worn one before. It's not very comfortable. It could strap to your neck, and it's just his radio. Although he, uh, I think it's a micless. I think these are the mics right here, if I remember. Yeah. Remember, guys, no stringy here. I've got my own rule, so. So just draw. Always start in one direction with the hair, guys. Because remember, your hair always falls down. Got my own rule. Just kind of draw like, think of it like leaves. Actually, you know, I've, I've told you guys for your hair. That's the best way to describe them. See, much better. I'll tone it down a little bit. Not too much, because he does have crazy hair, so. If you guys are wondering, I'm just using Control Z on this to go back to to fix a mistake, basically undo. That's just a quicker way and undo erase. So if you're wondering why I like something, I do this. You know, I don't want that line, but. Uh, you know, oh, I made the mouth a little too big here. That's the problem. You don't want these big old duck lips. She's not a woman, guys. You can do a little bit of a small mouth. Yeah, no, that's so much better, guys. That's what was missing. There we go. Go away. This video, I was actually hoping this video wouldn't be as long, guys, but I really want to put some 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 real detail in this, so. And then beard, same thing, guys. He's got a beard, so we can just draw little lines. You know, same way we draw the hair. But uh, those you can, you know, kind of adjust accordingly. And I'll even, I'll show you some cool stuff, guys, because this, I want to really do something really interesting with this beard. I'll show you about the, the white lines. I'll show, just so I don't forget, but yeah, don't forget the white lines. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is what you do, guys. You draw in your basic drawing. Basically, you draw whatever you want, and then you use go over back in black the details that you want. So, got a little dirt thing going here. And I'm just adding in some details, details, details. Same thing with the hair here. I forgot my own rule on that, guys. Sorry about that. Like I said, you don't, you do not want hair that's stringy, guys. I know it sounds dumb, but hair in general is not stringy. It's not supposed to be like spaghetti noodles. You want, because your hair kind of like parts together. So, sure, there's some strands and things you can see, but like it just doesn't look natural if I just draw a bunch of strings. You know, it's kind of funny how it works, but it's true. So. Okay, guys. Here we got our drawing in. I'm going to save this. this MG Solid. Okay, so I'm going to turn this down. And I'm going to get a slip of water, guys. Just because I'm trying to keep my throat. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to keep my. Um, it's been just the weather's been kind of like ups and downs. Okay. So let's just start off and get the band in. Now 
and it sucks guys I, I i wanted i was obviously you know it doesn't make sense for me to be drawing this you know really just because my friend reminded me of this game guys but this game does not have a release date not yet anyway so that's okay you know what i don't know i mean i don't know if i'm gonna plan on drawing it you know we'll see what my channel happen well how things you know progress as the years go by assuming because uh i don't know when this game's gonna be released so um hopefully this channel will be growing by then and that's the plan guys you know you gotta, you gotta help me spread this message out so and i'll be there i'll be there for you i'll be there i'm sorry guys I only sing in the shower, I promise. This isn't a channel where you'll hear me sing, but... I'll be there. No, 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 it's done. Oh, sorry, guys. Damn it. Stupid water bottle. And let me take the... Does it matter if I take the top off, guys? Does that happen when you just take the top off? I'm not sure. All right. Sorry. You see, guys, you see all these lines, these pencil lines? You want to keep those, guys, because those can be good guiders, you know? Even though it may not be in your drawing, guys, you might want to add them just because, you know. It may help you shape your drawing. I don't know. Like, you know, sometimes it just, you know, helps a little. And I don't think I made this. Sorry, I'm going to cheat a little. Oops. There we go. Oops. Nope. It's the eyes I have. <clears throat> it's the eyes I have trouble with, guys. Eh, still, sometimes I don't really get them right, but by the way, guys, if I ever sound like I'm making excuses, sometimes oh, I can't do this because of this so and so, you know, uh, just ignore that. I'm just being stupid. Because I mean, I can't have you guys. If I'm making excuses, you guys will be the same way. You know, what kind of teacher would I be? But so. You just, the thing is, guys, I know my style is probably not as good as, like, you know, but at least, you know, you got to be out there trying. Take it from me, guys. My, I mean, if you guys see my drawings, I mean, even I'm looking at them. Sometimes I look back at my work, and especially since I look at myself in the time that I was able to draw these, you know, I don't have that skill. And I'm, and I'm, and it's okay, guys, to admit. I mean, I know you want, don't want to hear this from, like, oh, why is he telling you this? Because I want you guys to understand that, like, sometimes this is just how you draw. Sometimes, like, and you have to learn to love it. It's kind of like, I hate to say this, but it's kind of like body positivity, you know? You know, it's kind of like that. It's sometimes, like, the way we do things, we're not, like, happy or satisfied with it, but sometimes this is just how it comes out, you know? So, I'm only saying this because I don't want you guys to get, you know, discouraged. You know, if you're not discouraged, you know, just ignore it, you know? I'm just, you know, maybe it's just something I'm going through, I don't know. Because this is, you know, well, this is, I have to admit, guys, this is like me putting my work out here, you know, it's, this is something that is very new to me. I've always kind of kept my work, you know, like private or, you know, just don't put it out. I just, just fear of all these years of putting it, you know, of, uh, I was always afraid someone was going to steal my work. You know, I have original ideas, guys, that haven't, you know, for the longest time I had, you know, I was, didn't want to put it out for, you know, and plus I always made excuses anyway, whether if it was like someone, to steal my ideas or you know just you know people what would they say about my ideas you know whether would they be any good trust me people these days are, they'll like your work and they're they, and let me tell you something people are very encouraging because i think they they we all understand even just you know and then there's going to be those idiots that, you know who to just just gonna you know i understand that they don't like it but there's always people who are just going to criticize you for you know just putting your work out you know don't listen to those guys you know, they're not don't listen to anybody who doesn't offer you any kind of like if you if something says that if they say that oh that sucks tell me why it sucks so i can fix it you know always be down to fix something you know but don't you know don't listen to anybody who's just like you know trust me guys i've been on call of duty i know that the kind of negativity that, that you know especially guys <laughs> impose so don't listen to any of those people you know a lot of times it's just people who just can't you know do it themselves they want to tell you you can't do it. So let's get the beard in. Actually, okay, well, let's come back to the beard. I want to get the eyes right, guys. I don't like the way these eyes look. I feel like that's how it's supposed to look, though, but... Let's 
to turn this down a little, just to shrink that down. Trust me, guys, I don't want to... You're going to hear negative comments no matter what. You know, take it from anybody. Ask Jacer. Ask my friend Mike. We've all been there. For all you young kids, you know, that only ever helped fuel us to be better, to be better at what we do. You know, that's what we, you know, it's funny, guys. They should bring back bullying. I hate to say it. You know, I was bullied as a kid. But let me tell you something, guys. You know, I had, as a kid, I had to work on myself to be a better person. I had to forgive those who bullied me and treated me like crap and all that. And let me tell you something, you guys will be the happier ones, I promise you that. If you forgive those, and I know it sounds dumb, if you forgive those who hurt you and all that stuff, who tell you you're no good and whatnot, trust me, you will look like, your work will look like this, I promise you that. Because you don't have time to, you know, indulge in people's, you know, their fantasies about you, you know what I mean? You don't have time for that. You have time for this. So. And just like, yeah. Remember, guys, still, still same, same idea. Thick lines. And I'm just using a little thinner lines to get the wrinkles in his face. You can kind of get as much of the lines of the skin. Because remember, skins have, if you ever you guys have to look at, you know, close-ups of your, of your, uh, of your nose and your skin. So, you don't have to draw every single wrinkle, but... <clears throat> By the way, guys, a Disneyland question. What's your favorite? First of all, what's your favorite ride? Since we're going to be going on. It's supposed to rain this weekend, so I don't know how it's going to really turn out. I'll check the weather, but I'm a. Uh, you have to. I'll tell you guys that my, my, my favorite ride is the Pirates of the Caribbean. It's always been my favorite. And then uh, Space Mountain, of course, which I heard is open. Thanks, thank God. I guess it was closed. I don't know. I haven't been to Disneyland in quite quite some time. I used to go all the time, guys. I always had the... I won't tell you, but I had the hookup, and... Yeah, it was awesome. So we're just drawing in the bottom lip. But yeah, let me know what your favorite ride, guys. Um, I'll be with you in space. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be loading up this video soon. Because I'm going to be... I don't have to deal with it, you know. Oops. Just draw this. Got a little shadow in here. We'll come back to the lips, of course. I want to start getting details. Details, details. Just drawing in. Beards are really complicated, guys, but you just have to kind of erase the chin a little because just follow the contours of the chin. So, always follow the nose. And we're not coloring it, so it's, it's not that big a deal. But. Looks like this might be a long video, guys. We'll see. I mean, we're already at the inking process, so. I'm just trying to draw it because I'm going to be filling in, trying to fill it in a little bit more. And you'll see what I, what I want to do. That'll look pretty sweet. 
but same techniques as we've done before, so. If you guys aren't sure of things, just look at yourselves. You know, if you guys have a beard, I don't know if you young kids out there have beards, whatever. <laughs> look at your dad's beard or your or your mom's beard, whatever. I don't know these days. <laughs> and just yeah, look use use good reference. For a beard, you can just kind of you know do the same thing. I'm just kind of drawing a little because I'm going to be filling it anyway. I'm just using it as a direction. So just let's just get a little. But still, same thing as the hair, you know, because I don't know if you guys noticed that the hair, I'm using this part of here as a hair. The hairline. So, get the last. Just don't rush the hair, guys. There we go. Remember, your beard connects up to your sideburns, all the way up to your hair. Yeah. Especially when you got a thick beard like this. And then just follow the contours of the chin. You can kind of add a little bit of a chin, and just so you give that a little general direction, but it's fine. Let's come back up to the ear, get that ear in. Ooh, it's a mean guy. Ooh. Bad, I guess. I hope you guys have good plans for uh, Thanksgiving. I can't believe it already. You know what's funny, guys? I was with my family this weekend, and my sister and my dad both pointed out that there's no... Uh, Thanksgiving commercials. Hardly any. The only one, there's only two I've seen. One is that horror movie that's coming out. That Thanksgiving horror movie. And then just Popeyes, you know. Isn't that sad, guys? I don't know if you guys, you know, are big, you know, I love Thanksgiving. It was one of those things where you get the family together, so. I hope you guys have some plans and have something. Please don't be alone this holiday. This, this, you know, we're in tough times already. If you guys have a family member that's lonely, please, you know, reach out and just see how they're doing. You know, our friend, I try to keep up with much of my friends and my, you know, my cousin, you know, I want to, my cousin Chris, uh, want to get together next time he's in, in town or whatever. Oh, um, hell yeah. I told you guys, I, I know you guys um, probably know, I go see my dad every, every Sunday I go see him. He, he lives, he doesn't live too far from me, but I, it started with COVID, you know, during COVID, we were seeing each other just to make sure we were okay. You know, I was always doing laundry or whatever his place, and, you know, whatnot. And just something to do. There was nothing to do. But, you know, at the time, and then just kind of stay with it. I'm so glad we did, because let me tell you something, guys. Sometimes, you know, I, I hate to say it, but COVID, you know, was kind of a blessing in disguise. At least for, I, say, I know for, don't get me wrong, I know many of you people have lost people, and I, my heart goes out to you guys. I'm just saying that, like, you know, out of some, out of all the stuff that happened, I was able, at least, you know, and I'm not bragging, really. Not at all, guys. I'm just saying that, you know, there's always, you know, you can find... I rekindled with my dad a lot, you know, because I moved out for a while. I wasn't living with him. And, you know, we were okay. But just, you know, it's... it's Things were going on. Not between us, just in my life in general. I was always too busy to hang out with him. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm just so glad that I got, I've been having this time with him, guys. I'm so happy that... I, I can honestly say, guys, this year I did not waste this year. You know, this year I, I spent time with family and friends. I'm getting back with my friends. You know, I'm gaming with my friends and we all hang out. We're not on, on these computers. I spent time with my, my family. I bought these computers. I fixed up my place, you know, bought myself a wardrobe. I did not waste this year, guys. And I, I just, I'm not saying this to brag, but like, I hope you guys, if you're having trouble in your life, you know, you just got to just take the first step. You know, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're unsure where to... Ooh, I think I made these eyes too big. I always make these eyes too big, I swear to God. But this is a big person anyway, so... But eyes are not that big, guys. So I think I think in my last video, I noticed my eyes were a little too big. So let me scale these down. 
But anyway, back to what I was saying is like, um, because I get so many questions, guys, on like, how do you do this? Because I, I get people ask me questions, you know, what do you do? Well, I just start with one thing, guys. It's kind of like cleaning your house. You know how you guys, you clean your house, and then you like, oh, I cleaned the floor, but now the couch looks dirty or whatever, you know? And then you gotta clean the couch, and then you're like, the couch looks nice, but the lamp's all, you know, dusty. You start with that, and you start with that, and that's exactly what I did, guys. I, I, I bought a few pieces of clothes. Actually, you know what? It started, my, my dad actually got me a vacuum, and it started a couple years ago. <clears throat> it was just before COVID ending, it was the Christmas, and my dad got me a vacuum. You know, just a small vacuum, and he got me a, uh, you know, I couldn't afford it at the time. And a, a bedspread, guys. I had my bed, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I had stuff left over from previous things, and I don't want to talk about it, but like, I don't want to get too much into it, but like, I had what I had left over from my, my place, you know, an old TV, I had no bed frame, I was sleeping on the floor, with my, with my, with my mattress on the floor, and, um, I had no TV, Lucky to have a TV. I had the couches and I had some dishes and, and things left over from said events. And I made it work for a while. And then my dad got me a few things, you know, to kind of liven up the place. And then like, oh, my, my bed looks, you know, great. Now I got to get a dresser, you know. And I went to Ikea, got a few more shelves. I was able to afford, you know, bought a few more things. And then one thing led to another. Then I, you know, then my dad helped me eventually. Yeah, my dad actually eventually, eventually helped me get my the new Xbox series because I couldn't afford it. And he just... Oh my god, yeah, I guys gotta get to tell you the story. When I when I first bought my Xbox, okay, so this is during um I think it was like when during when things were it's just like a couple years ago, but but it was still hard to get like the PlayStation and the Xbox and all that. So I'm going to GameStop because it's the only place I can find it at the time. And I go to GameStop. I we, I wanted to go to Best Buy by my the Best Buy by his house because it would have been easier, but I, um yeah, I went to Best Buy and I was scared to death. We bought the Xbox and then I was so afraid I was going to get, like, freaking robbed or something, guys, you know? Because I, I, I had to go through the mall to go up. We went straight to the parking lot, and, you know, this was back then in COVID. All the robberies and, you know, all crazy stuff started happening. We were just, I was so afraid we were going to get checked. But my dad helped me get, you know, quite a bit. I mean, I, and, and don't get me wrong, guys. I mean, I've had help. It's okay to ask for help if you need it. I mean, and, and I've helped people since. I've helped a few people, you know, any way I can. So... That's all I say. Help some people when you can be, you guys. You don't have to be, you know, Mother Teresa. Sometimes, guys, even just, like, saying that. Let me tell you something, guys. You know, my dad always says this. You know, if you can't afford... I know all of us can't afford to give to charity or do something. But at least just be kind to one. Can we at least just, like, start doing that? If everybody would just be a little bit kinder, you don't have to be, like, you know, Mother Teresa. You don't have to be, like, you know, not everybody can give. If you can't give this holiday... You know, I, that is going to be one of my goals is to find a charity or find something I can, you know, not not to brag about it, but I hope you guys will do the same. Find something you can give. But if you can't do that, at least just be kind to each other. You know, is that so much to ask? I, I'd, I'd say so. That's what all I want to do, guys. I want to be kind to people. I want to show them, you know. Uh, oh, crap. Oops. And I'm not trying to, like, you know tell you guys what to do. I'm just saying that, you know, if my dad and I always had this conversation, I'd say, you know, I tell him, Pops, I can't really do much, you know, this year. I'm a little, I'm a little dead or whatever. You know, you've been helping me a lot. And he just, you know, tells me, you know, just to like do, just do some, some, you know, this is my good deed, guys. And it's all I can do right now is just to like try to get one of you guys. Because you never know who you inspire, guys. You know, maybe some guy will hear my comments and, and you know, be inspired to do something. I don't know. Start a charity. You know, art can bring us together, guys. That's why I love doing art. Because let me tell you something, because I know you guys don't think you're, you're not, you may not be, we may not be doctors and lawyers and, you know, or even, you know, even lawyers. I mean, who the hell, you know, likes lawyers, you say. But, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Even lawyers, you know, they, they do help you when you're in a jam, even though they are bad lawyers and good lawyers, you know. But still, even then, they're, they're people that, that, you know, when you need help and they're ambulance people. But, you know, let me tell you something, guys. We are just as important as any doctor in this world. Because let me tell you something, dude. A doctor will go home and he has to make hard decisions or he goes to work and he has to make hard decisions all day and then <clears throat> sorry I'm talking a little has to make hard decisions all day you know telling people that they're sick or telling people that they're this or this or that and or you know I'm sure it's not all you know, all is bad but you know he has, he's the one who has to give people bad news all day and trust me guys it, as, as much as they get paid or as much as they get you know they do good it's hard to, tell, to go up to somebody and tell them you're going to die or you're going to be, you know, 
living in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. It's 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 tough. It's a tough world we live in. You know, let me, let me tell you something. When they get when they get through it, it's through us. Let me tell you that it's it's you who created Captain America, or you know, a drawing of Captain America, or you know, or the new Avengers movie. Any of these movies, you know, let me tell you something. These people, they they go, they put uh. They go home to their families and they see their kids watching Iron Man and you know they're then they're they're sitting there just watching, just enjoying their family company. So you know what? We are there in their living room. You and I are there in their living room and, and we're you know touching people, you know. I never thought we'd be touched before. You know. Don't touch them too much, but you you know what I'm saying. You know, we we, we reach millions of people, guys, with our stuff. And when don't ever stop doing don't ever think you're never making a difference. So, that's my advice. Let's see. This may be a long drawing that I thought, guys. Still, this mic's... Okay, just checking the mic's still going. I'm still paranoid after that one situation, but I think we're okay. Hopefully. Because, like, guys, this is unscripted. That video that I had to make, I had to... That, when, I, when I screwed up the video, I told you that I ended up... Uh, refilming it. That was just... I had to basically remember what I was talking about. So, yep, that happens. But yeah, yeah, that, that's all I'm saying is that, you know, and this is my message from my dad, you know, from, from my dad to you guys, you know. Just, let's just all be kind. I know it's like a, a lot to ask for, but I mean, you don't have to be like, you know, all touchy feeling or whatever, but no, I mean, just, you know. That's what I'm saying, like, just say, just open a door for somebody, or just say hi, or, you know, I, I talk to people all the time, guys, I'm not trying to, like, you know, it's funny, I always get people who talk to me, I told you about, I, I think I've told you a story about the Marine at, at Ralph's, who, you know, just, like, started, you know, talking, he, I was in, I was just getting something from Ralph's, uh, one, uh, one late night shopping, and then, you know, I, I talked to this guy, and then one thing leads to another, he tells me he's a Marine, you know, he's, he's having trouble with his wife, you know, he says he's thinking of leaving his wife, and I told him not to do it, you know. You know, anything can be solved. He was—he didn't want to, but he was just still thinking about it. You know, You're having trouble. Nice guy. I hope he's—you know—hope he made the right decision. You know. Anyway, that's not too bad. Okay, let's get my bikes. But that's what I'm saying, guys. You know, just if we can all just be a little bit kinder, this world will be a better place. Because you don't have to be Mother Teresa, as I told you. You don't have to be just little acts of kindness that make people's day. That's all it really is, guys. So I'm going to be filming this. This is going to be cool, guys. Watch this. So I'll show you this little technique. Technique. It also makes for a great hair effect. So we're just going to be filling in as much of the black. You can leave some white. But even though his, his beard isn't black, guys, but it, it's the shadows. And I'll show you why I'm doing this. This is going to be a good payoff. It also creates, uh, this also creates um, shadows and light. And because remember, your hair is reflective, especially women with shiny hair and things like that. So you want to leave some of this lighting. Ooh, that was cool. Even though his hair, if you look at this picture, for, I'm just using the reference just from the, 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 Image that came out for the game. There's not much to really go on, so just something about dragonflies. And... Although you can already see, kind of see where I'm going. Most of you probably know that I'm going to be. I'll just tell you, I'm just going to be using the white, these white lines to kind of create the old man beard we got going. But you'll see. This is where you can get a little bit liney, but that's just because I'm just. Uh, it's just the edges I'm making very stringy. That's all. Just because I'm trying to make it as much as I can. Oops. And like I said, guys, you can do this with a paintbrush. Same, t same, you know. You can do these effects. Same technique. Other than just being a brush and water and whatever, no, 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 you don't use you don't use water for ink, guys. Sorry. Just filling in, just filling in. You know, give it a 
Full scruffle. Not too much, but... Don't forget, guys, I'm a gamer. I know if you've guys seen the footage of me and Jaster and and uh, Mike playing. I know you see I suck at, at, at just like Call of Duty. I, don't, I still can't grasp the concept of how, they, how these guys get so good at Call of Duty. I don't know. I mean, I think they're all cheating, in my opinion, but... <laughs> Not being bitter, guys, because like, I'm, I'm telling you, like I don't know how these guys do it. Well... Oh. I'm going to be doing these little shades for us because there's a little dirt. Well, there's a lot of dirt on the side of his face, so I'm going to be adding that. So I'll just a little crisscross, leave some, some white. Doesn't have to be. It's going to, this side is going to blend in with the beard, so. Remember, guys, we're not trying to make this exactly like this. Just get, you know, get some squares going. Get some dirt on the eyes. Got a little face paint going. Yeah, just get a little random. Doesn't have to be, it's just dirt on his face. Just take your time, guys. Take your time. A little bit of I'm a little bit of rush, but just for the sake of this video. But then again, we're always in a rush. Okay. Remember guys, see how the nose curls this way? Make sure you have the dirt curling like this. Get the shape of the nose, so it gives it some. There we go, that's what we're looking for, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Remember, any, any material, I mean any like Let's say liquid guys, whether if you have rain dripping off someone's head or mud or something, remember always follow the contour of, a, of the person's face. Don't just, you know, uh, I, I showed you with when I did Ghost's Mask last week, if you guys noticed those, those lines that dropped because the, the, those lines follow the fabric, you know, of the, of the direction of his face, those lines that are on his mask, those like little, that's part of it. Same thing with his nose. Oops, not really honest. Yeah, it's had some marks too. And he's got a little face paint going on. a little of that mud going up here a little squigglies up on the band here oh well, guys we're, we're not even close to being done <laughs> yeah getting there but i haven't even done the hair yet so just adding in some dirt don't be afraid to get to to you know, get in there guys if something has to happen it has to happen if this has dirt calls for dirt then get in there don't be afraid. Always, always push the envelope, guys. Trust me. Your viewers and people will see a lot big difference whether you decided to do something or not. That's why we invented erasers. Although ink ain't not much erasing, but sometimes, guys, you have to take a risk. You risk in life. You risk in love. 
<laughs> dealing with something like that myself, guys. And, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit it. You know, let me let me tell you something, guys. If you're ever going through something, a breakup, a love, whatever, don't ever be afraid to 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 tell people or you know express yourself. Just say, hey, you know, yeah, I'm, someone left me, or you know, and you girls too. I know you girls go through heartbreaks. But girls, things got yeah. I understand. Like you know, I was just watching a video about like you know, I don't say suicide. Uh, can't say the word because I don't get demonetized. But you know, people who you know, it's a, I know it's a touchy subject, but I just want you like anybody out there. If you're if you're you know, especially me guys. If you guys if you ever you know need someone to you know, I always check my messages, guys. I'm always checking my message for anybody who wants to talk or reach out. Please, by all means, please. You know, don't ever think that, like, you know, I, I've talked to, I have a few friends who I, I go to, you know, when I'm down. I try not to, you know, try to be a man, and, you know, but, but if you're okay, yeah, I'm glad. Don't be, always be afraid to express yourself, guys, and that's what we do here, you know, but, I'll tell you, if you guys are going through heartbreak or whatever, let me tell you something. Love. Yeah, people say, you know, I think it was Keanu Reeves who said, uh, he said, are you a lover or are you a fighter? And I think he said to love someone, I forgot the exact thing, but like to be a lover, you have to be a fighter. Something like that. Oh my God. I, was, I love Keanu Reeves. He always knows what to say. I'm serious, guys. It's the same... I'll never be afraid to sit to speak up, guys. If you got heartbreak or whatever, please tell me. I've been through it. In fact, some of the things I told you, like what I just even just now what I told you about uh, when I had like nothing left in my apartment. It's a long story, I'll tell you, but you know, you can kind of guess, you know, a certain someone took, you know, whatever it is that made this home. And then don't blame that person, guys. I'm just saying just, you know, that's just, you know. And like I said, luckily I had my dad to fall back on, guys. You know, so my dad was there for me, and plus my friends as well. But I mean, like my dad was there for me. And if you're watching this video, thank you, pops. So, in fact, if you need my dad's advice, guys, go and hit him up. <laughs> I'm seeing he's a busy guy. No, I don't mind sharing my dad. He's always got good advice, but I think he's actually taken from me because he's also kind of been stuck in his own way. And I think he sees what I've done, like how I've changed myself and how I got like, you know, new computers. I did, guys. I mean, I got these new computers that I'm working on. And let me tell you, I'm so glad I did. I was so scared that I wouldn't be able to afford it. You know, but this is still, you know, I'm still paying it off, of course. But like I said, guys, you know, it's you got to take a risk, guys. And I'm so glad I did. Because I, there's no way I could be, and I've been I've been complaining about this for months. I told my I told Jaster that I I didn't have a computer that was powerful enough to load this stuff. My laptop is just I couldn't even load a single video onto my laptop. You know, isn't that crazy? My laptop is just old, guys. It just I, I tried to explain them, and you know I kept making excuses that I didn't, you know. And I finally pulled the trigger and and got this computer, and voila. Get a little more dark. But yeah, guys, you just gotta, you know, make that effort. Start, like I said, start with one thing. Clean one part of the house, you know, and then you start doing the other. You know, that's what all I've been doing. And I'm so glad. You gotta start somewhere, guys. You gotta plant the seed somewhere. And if you don't know where to start, and I've had plenty of people where to start, start with one thing. You know, always, the gym I was, is always my first thing. I always tell people, go to the gym, because that'll teach you to be disciplined. You know, I, I'm a big gym guy, uh, gym goer, guys. I used to go, like, a lot. I haven't gone to much because I'm not close to my gym, but I do stuff at home and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, and it'll help motivate you and, and build discipline. So, trust me, you need a lot of discipline to do this, guys, dude. I was actually thinking I wasn't even going to make a video this week. I was like, so I'm going to Disneyland. My schedule uh, was a little different this week because we had uh, a couple changes at work. So, I was like, why am I going to do a video? There's nothing going on. You guys probably aren't even going to watch this because there's no... I try to pick videos that are relevant. You know, there's not much going on. I was going to draw something because my friends are still playing Spider-Man and Call of Duty, but... 
Uh, I've already drawn stuff for those games. There's just not, nothing out right now, so but there's always something to do, guys. Trust me, there's always something to do. That's when I got this idea, and I really had uh, an idea because I used to draw Solid Snake back in the day. I used to do these really, there was these really cool like paintings back because I don't know if you guys remember the old uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, uh, like covers and stuff, they were like these painted, like uh, kind of modern looking art ones. And I used to do those, like kind of copy those, you know, just when I was first like drawing as a kid, and I thought I'd like do something like this. Yeah, no, it's not fucking too bad. Let's get to the lips because the lips are really bugging me. Okay, yeah, just fill in a little bit of a shadow. A little bit of that dirt on there. Lips are really hard, guys. Even especially for men, because you don't want it to be the, the banana lips. You can kind of get away with the banana lips for women, you know. But uh, like I said, top lip up here always always have shadow. A little bit of the the, the picture I'm using doesn't have the bottom lip really going up, but I'm just adding a little bit, just you know. Let's see. Remember, guys, at the end of the day, it's your drawing. This is how you do it. This is how I do it. Oops. Okay, what am I missing? Let's just do... Let's do... I'm just going to fill this with black. Just a... His microphone. Nothing French or... And if you're doing all black guys, just leave some white open for, you know, for shiny areas. So, you don't have to fill in all black. See how I'm leaving some, some white? It just kind of creates the illusion of like a little bit of a light. So that way just you can leave, you know, you wonder how you can do all black. See how I leave some of it like a little, I'm not filling in the whole thing. I'm leaving it, you know, so you can get a, In fact, guys, if you want to know a good example, go and watch the cartoon. You're not going to believe this, but go and watch, and this is something I noticed, any cartoon back then with a the leather jacket, and I'll give you an example, was uh, Doug. If you guys are familiar with that, Doug, who's uh, one of the... Uh, it's a show on Nickelodeon a long time ago, but and they had it on Disney, but go to the one that's... Uh, Yeah, uh, it's kind of weird. I know it's kind of random, but I noticed like his leather jacket. One of the, the, the one of the characters named Roger. He was the bully. He wore a leather jacket, and that was like kind of a distinct look because you know anyone who wore a leather jacket was evil back then. Um, uh, if you see, it was all black, and then I noticed when they draw the zippers and stuff, that's when they use white and things like that to kind of make it show. So, just to, if you guys are not sure like how to you know draw, that's 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 how I learned that. So whenever I do like this kind of black sound, I know I know to, to utilize the white to draw like you know lines and 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 things you know the lines like the the, the lines of the jacket things like that. So here I'm just drawing in some more shadows, just to kind of finish up the drawing because I haven't even done the hair yet. Let me draw a little camo stuff going on because he's got some. You can even draw camo like this. Just, just use very light lines, guys. Like, like this. Yeah, I'm drawing a little. This jacket has a little bit of a. It's the same thing. If you guys are drawing a soldier, use light lines to draw. Like, if he has camo or something like that. And I've done this in my comic book before. If you guys go, uh, you know, look at my comic book because I have drawn a few soldiers. Because I'm, I'm very familiar with um, 
with uh, different kinds of uh, camos that were used in certain war eras and stuff like that. Um, it really, it, all you have to remember, guys, like there wasn't much camo uh, in in uh, World War Two. I think Vietnam maybe a little bit, like they had used in the Tiger Tiger camo. Not not a whole lot. They still mostly had like just green uniforms and you know things like that. Um, but yeah. Oh, he's got a little cut. Ooh, that was cool. You can use light lines, guys. Small lines to indicate, like, you know, wounds. Uh, lines, like I said, like a uh, camo. I mean, I'm kind of doing a little bit of dirt here, a little filling a little black areas of here, but I'm still using these these thin lines to kind of create like light dirt all over his. So yeah, exactly. See that? And remember, they follow the lines here. See that? See how they follow these lines, even though this is a fold in the in the band, the headband. Yeah, looks dope. Yeah, it's kind of better than I thought, actually. With a little bit of love. Sometimes, guys, I don't even—I I doubt my own self. So don't don't ever doubt yourselves. Big mistake. What think you're looking like? You can get rid of this. And I'll show you. I'll get to it in the last one. I just want to make sure the strong is pretty pretty cut, guys. Clean cut. He had more lines because remember he's a dirty guy. He's probably he doesn't really. He's a solid snake. He's not like cleansing his face or anything like that. So he's a real man. <laughs> So, I just want to get his gram as much detail in this. Yeah, it's going to be an hour or so. I'm hoping that the, you guys will stick through this and just, you know, as much if I had as much detail, you guys will stick to the end. <laughs> Sorry. I try to make these short, guys. I promise you that I try to do as much as I can. But like I said, the more, the more you work on, if you guys are wondering why your drawings aren't good, because you're probably not spending enough time. I mean, don't, look, these artists, don't be, that's what I'm trying to say, don't be intimidated by these people who are drawing things. First of all, most of their videos are time-lapse. Mine are not time-lapse, because I haven't quite mastered that yet. That's why I'm, I'm still doing this, this kind of stuff, guys. I promise you, I'll do, you know, I'm becoming long, but right now, I don't want to be like everyone else, guys. I'm, that's why I want to do these, I'm just straight up doing these, you know, so I want you guys to see how it's done. Most channels are just trying to show you like a brief, you know, lesson or something like that. I'm trying to give you like a bunch of lessons in one, so. I know it's overwhelming. Even I can be overwhelming. But like I said, don't be intimidated because these guys are like doing all these drawings, you know, that quickly. Trust me. Let's see. A little bit more dirt up here. The dirt goes all the way up here on this side. It's a lot on this side. You can kind of draw on the bureau, just kind of connect the dots a little. So it's not too stringy. Like I said, even with the beard, you still don't want it to be stringy. And let me show you some of the technique, guys. Here it comes. So this is what you're going to do, guys. Whenever you have, like, oh, actually, I don't know. Because when it comes to black and white, guys, you can use some really cool things. You can do this for all kinds of, like, I wanted to make the beard as black as possible so these will show up and th these lines will look better than just drawing in you know so you can use this for like any kind of like but right now I'm using it to draw a little because you know snake looks like he's aged here so he's got a little you know so just fill it as much as you can because remember hair and beards and stuff they all have shadows too guys and it's, it's tough to get them right so and let's see. So I'm going to switch over. I'm going to make these a little bit more thinner. But, and then I'm going to switch to white, guys. So you're going to use white, just pure white. This is still black and white drawing. So make sure this is pure white. And I'll do this on another layer. And it's really quite simple. You're just drawing in more white lines. See that? Oh, yeah. 
and this gives it like a that way you don't have to draw you know i know it's kind of weird but it, it like why not just do it in the first one because it, it makes for a better look guys that's why so i'm just following this face but the more blacker it's a lot better but see how i'm creating like the contours of his face with this stuff kind of showing the direction of the beard It just makes it better when you're doing this. Just use white and black against each other like this. I should have gone blacker with a beard, really, but I, it's okay. You can mostly do this when you're coloring. But like I said, you can use this to draw a little bit of a... This should be the last part, guys, I promise. I mean, just get crazy, these beards, you know. Oh, oops. I want to do a little bit of hair. I don't think it's really necessary. A few, I have to really just kind of create a little cool, cool shines in the hair. But yeah, you can do this if you have dark hair, you know. And if you end up doing too much. So basically you're just utilizing the white against the against the dark to fill in you know areas that you really couldn't because you really just like you just want to draw mostly black so and like i said you can do it right here see the exactly see that and then we got a little just a little glowing effects you know Same thing, just you know how you press on the gun on the on the on your pen. Just that apply pressure. And you can do all kinds of effects as you can do splatter effects, you know, lightning effects on this. Little lightning, you know. You can do shines. I like to use it for the white of eyes, like this. I do pupils, usually. And same thing if you if you if just go back to black if you need to, guys, and just start, you know, if you do too much, just cover it up. I'm going to go back to white, though. So, yeah, just... Yeah, this creates a little depth and a little shine in the beard, you know? So I hope you guys utilize this technique to kind of get your beards down. Yeah, see that? See how like this hair will stick out? That's what that's what we're kind of going for. So there we go. Yeah. Okay, I think that'll about do her. Am I missing some guys? See you now. That's okay, guys. I'm about to end this anyway. And this, then, like I said, this works with anything. If you're drawing Qui Gon Jin or you know anyone with a beard, I hope you guys found this informative. Let's create the effects of the beard. That's not too bad. And then, oh, oh, here. Actually, you know, I need, sorry, guys. One last thing, because make sure you add more, like, light, uh, more black here against the light when you're doing that. Because you want, it, basically, you're kind of blending in with the white as well, so. I 
Remember, it comes with experience, guys. Just keep getting that experience. Keep getting that, you know. I mean, I've been inking. I mean, I told you I worked for a certain someone. You know, it wasn't very long, but I still learned a thing or two. And, and you know, I've been doing this a while, so. Don't ever get discouraged. I mean, you know, you guys may be better, probably better than I am. Ugh. Just ignore that. Whoopsie. I did not see that. Okay. Everything is alright. Alright, guys. I'm in one of those moods. That's <laughs> right. So I can go on and on. You know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Well, Mr. Ross used to say that you can go on and on. It's true. I tell you, I can just stay here all day just painting this little death, guys. <laughs> but sadly, I don't want to be using up more of your time, so I'm going to start in this video, guys. I may work on a little bit before off camera. It's not bad. It's one of my best drawings so far. Nose is like slightly off, but that's okay. You can also use this if you over ink guys, just to see how I can just, there you go, see? But understand guys, if you do use this technique and, and you will um, end up coloring, just remember that it will, sh that the white will show up on an extra, so like, let's say I turn off, let me show you guys, see this is the background down here that shows this is just the white of the paper. Oh, uh, I don't want to mess with it right now, hold on. Oh, here, if I turn it off, see, see how the white, this is the white that we've used because it's treated like a normal color. So normally if you're going to color it, so like if it, let's say do I ink this and then below the layer, I'm going to color it, this will show up on top. So just be aware this technique really is just, you know, mainly for black and white. Um, but just be aware of that. So... It will show up when you if you decide to color this. So, Just got a little bit more. Excuse me. Well, I think that'll about do her, guys. That's where I'm trying to end this video. All right, let's put this baby to bed. And there you have it, guys. Hopefully this game... I'm, I'm super excited about this game. You guys are... Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video. Oop. And there's our solid snake. It looks like a wolverine, but... I'd love to see these guys in a fight. Anyway, guys, that's about it. So I'm going to let you guys go, and uh, I'll see you guys next week with another video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.